Okay, Alan from Blue Water here. Okay, our new Tasman um, Ford Fold camper. So, uh, has all the changes that we've done. So we've incorporated a number of things, but the key thing that we're showing today is how to close the camper. Um, so this is our new winch tent design. Um, if you've watched the video, which shows us opening it, this is obviously in reverse. So we'll go through that. So first of all, um, we'll unclip all of our domes, um, unzip all of the panels first. The more panels that you've got unzipped and floating, the easier it will be to close any camp. Camp, camp because we don't want to get bunches of canvas jammed underneath the hoops. Um, close our door, make sure we close our door first because once the camp is closed you won't be able to shut the door. Um, then roll up our, our skirt on the side. We come around the front, we release the tension we've got on to the tent, right the hook, and all we do now is just basically hook that back onto there just to hold it into place until we close it. So lift that skirt up. We then fold our hoop forward and we pull out, pull the bed head down and remove the canvas from underneath it. And then fold it over like you're folding over a bed. And we pull our bed end strap up and over. that on and clip that in, tighten it up to hold that bed hoop down. The more time you spend tightening this canvas up before you close it, the easier it will be to, um, to close it in general. So fold it over. What we then do is we get our wedge and we release the bed to about this height here. We then fold up our skirt at the rear and we release these. So these are your, uh, this is your hoop, it's your carabiners. They go off there and here. Yep. Roll those up, store them in the locker at the back. Same with this one. Roll them up, store them in the back. We then replace, remove our poles. They just slide out of there and we will store those in our pole box. Just roll this hoop up a little bit so it's about here. Typically, lean in, grab our internal hoop that then sits down on the bed, flip over our door, easy way. our window. Sorry, it's over there that sits down on our bed. Same on the other side. Go around and make sure our eagle wing awning is just inside the tent and that that boot is sitting down on top of the bed. What we can then do is go back to the front of the camper again. Making sure all of our canvas is up. We'll release this hook. Push it up. We can now hold the tent with this hoop and just make sure all of your canvas is inside and that's on both sides. So that'll sit into place and then you can control the way the tent moves based on the canvas here and pushing it in. So we can just push it in like this 
and that, that tent will come down, that, that lid will come down, and we just go around and check the canvas on the other side. Is just try to pump a little bit of the air out. And we we can just hold it there and tuck it in. Closing this, what we've done is, is we've made it so it's easier to open and it's just as easy to close. But what we do is uh, suggest to do the, this rear closing. You can do it on your own, but I'm just going to show you how to do the final stages of closing this tent with the winch. So you increase the extension up to the top, you go over the top. You chuck the winch underneath that roller and you hook it onto this here like this, okay? So off the winch, over the roller, under that roller. What it then allows us to do, excuse the noise, is we'll pull that down into place like that. Make sure this canvas is still in place. There's nothing breaking from the seal to a point whereas we can go around and put those hooks on. <coughs> so dolly over center clips and then pretty much it's closed so uh, feel free to uh, give us a call ask any questions if you need any help just give us a call so uh, thank you